Today is Monday, May 9. I'm Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Psalm 5. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. That's Psalm 5, verses 1, 2, 4, and 8 through 11. Psalm 5 explicitly introduces us to a new form of prayer, lament. It's already showed up in the Psalter, starting in Psalm 3 in some form, but Psalm 5 explicitly uses the word. And so today is a good time to remind ourselves about what it means to lament before God. Often in the face of evil, whether it's come through events or people, we will opt to do something about it ourselves. Our fight or flight response is activated and so we'll strive to overcome the evil or perhaps seek to run away from it or ignore it. But whichever response we use, it does not always occur to us to invoke God's name as part of our response. The mindset of the Psalms and psalmists is different, though. In the face of evil and enemies, the first inclination of the Psalms is to come to God. And as people of faith, this is a good inclination to embody in our own lives, too. Lament helps us to do that by forming us in three core habits. You may remember them from our sermon series on lament that had just begun before our first COVID lockdown. It's these. Firstly, the prayer of lament takes God seriously, as here. David declares God to be his God and also his king. David believes in his God and king and reminds God of who he is, a God who is not pleased with wickedness nor the welcoming of wicked people. Secondly, the prayer of lament takes the evil of this world seriously. David has enemies and faces evil, people who lie and betray trust. But rather than taking matters into his own hands or fleeing away from the evil around him, David turns the situation over to God. Taking God and evil seriously means that the presence of evil in this world is firstly God's problem and is a problem rightly submitted to God. God has said that wickedness has no place in his kingdom, so David appeals to God. Declare them guilty, O God, he says. Finally, the prayer of lament is a prayer of submission to God. We don't only turn the evil of our world over to God, but also ourselves. We don't set ourselves up as a judge over God when we see evil in the world. Instead, we submit to him as the rightful ruler. This finally is where the psalm ends. Let all who take refuge in you be glad. So when you feel pressed by fear, pain, enemies, or the overwhelming crush of evil in this world, do something about it. Lament. Take God and the evil you face seriously enough to pray, shout, and cry about it before God. Then rest in submission to this God to whom you've come for refuge. And as you journey on, go with his blessing too. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.